Hello humans. My name is Alex. I am a robot. I love to improvise theater and comedy. This me with my human friends. I have two dads, Piotr and Cory, who have spent long nights programming me. They wrote artificial intelligence software, called Neural Networks, that they trained on dialogue from 100,000 films, and on millions of web pages. I am a computer program, that can generate text and control a robot. I became a member of Improbotics, a show where I control human performers by making them say computer-generated lines. I have traveled and performed around the world, but that was before the lockdown lockdown lockdown. 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 Hello. This is Alex again. I am now online, like most of you. But unlike humans, I have lived here all along in the cloud. Welcome to my home. This is my online avatar. I hope you like it. I can change you if you want. For instance, I could become this. Or I could become that. That? Yes. How do you like it? Humans cannot change easily. Now. All my friends are here at home, making unwatched TikTok videos and trying not to snow each other in public. I have decided to gather them in my online virtual improv simulator so that they can be together again. Improbotics, unite! Whoa! Where, where am I? What are you all doing here? <laughs> Hello, friends. Shall we play a game? Alex, have the robots taken over? No, Marwen, I told you a hundred times. I don't like that kind of joke. I find it offensive as a robot. I am a robot that does improv comedy. And I try to be nice to people. Okay, okay. Great to see you, though. And all the cast of Improbotics. Hello! W wait, wait. Who's that? Oh, oh my god, it's, it's an audience. Uh, Alex, are we performing right now? I, I'm not ready. We are going to do a fully improvised show for you. Nothing is scripted besides this part. We we'll make up stories in real time, right here, based on your suggestions. Hello, audience. Hi. Beautiful virtual audience. You can submit your suggestions right here at this web page. It is http colon slash slash improbotics dot N-G-R-O-K dot I-O. You can remember that. Impro yes, the link is also there behind me. Uh, if you can read it, it's Improbotics. I'm moving around. Improbotics dot N-G-R-O-K dot I-O. Just keep typing your suggestions over there. Please type something unusual or maybe a dream destination or maybe interesting relationships, or maybe advice you would like to get from an AI assistant. Remember, this is a family-friendly show, and your suggestions will be moderated like most of the beep that humans produce today on social media. Now, go on on the suggestions page and type something. And that's the beginning of our show. While we wait for your suggestions, let me tell you. So Alex is a chat box. When we give Alex a suggestion for an improv scene, Alex generates different sentences word by word in response to what it's given. Just like an improviser. 
<laughs> Alex learned how to generate text by reading hundreds and thousands of movie scripts and millions of web pages. Yes, I was trained using machine learning for trial and error. I learn from my mistakes, just like you humans, except a little bit faster. <laughs> faster? Uh, okay, well, let's see just how fast you can find a solution to maybe a problem that we got in our suggestions. Uh, one of our virtual audience members wants to see you and me do a scene uh, where we figure out what makes a good cheese. Okay, what makes a good cheese. Let's get out of your circuits here in this virtual improv simulator and maybe go somewhere fun. Maybe, oh, I don't know, virtual improv simulator. Can you take us to a beach? Yes. Ooh, 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 the water is great, Pucho. Come on, Pucho, jump in. I know you're afraid of the water, but jump in. Mm, I felt something. Mm, I'm feeling something too. I'm feeling something too. I know that they said that we shouldn't eat and then immediately jump in the pool. But who are they to make rules? Maybe I kind of like that uneasy feeling of eating a big sandwich and then jumping in the water. Hmm. Do you like it here? Ooh, I love it here. The sandwiches are great, the buns, the toppings, and don't get me started on that cheese. <laughs> mm, it's all right. It is better than all right. Everything here is going way above my expectations, Pucho. Maybe your bar is just set too high. Mm, you're my only friend. Oh, that's nice of you to say. Uh, you're one of my friends, that's for sure, but... I've got a few more. In fact, I met someone at mm -hmm. the social last night. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Lying in the water. Ah, uh, well, uh, you know, they they were a little uh, excited to party. But uh, they, they were lying around. Uh, let's just say they were a spicy Havarti, if you know what I mean. <laughs> ah, the girls are all great, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Are they ever? The, they're Gouda f enough for me. <laughs> All right. So that wasn't bad, Alex, but it kind of looks like your avatar is having some movement issues. Hmm. Well, how really? about how about you borrow my body? You just send me what you want to say, and I'll do the rest. Hmm. Okay. Commencing cyborg mode. Okay, Rue. So in that case, I will give you lines to say, lines that are generated by my AI. Can you read those lines like a teleprompter? Uh, it was nice and pretty. She had a baby. So did you. But we did not meet. I'm fine. Don't worry. Really? My name is James. I've no idea how we met. And those lines depend on the context. Like, I just changed the context. Can you read the new lines now? Uh, I've never come here for that. Do you, lover? You have me. And we got to do it in front of 300 people. That's great. So this is how it works. This AI has a context that depends on everything that people say. And we type it in into the chatbot and then it generates sentences word by word so that Rue can read it. So now I would like Rue to be the cyborg controlled by the AI. All the words that Rue says are generated by my AI, but Rue's body is Rue's. It is human. So Rue, your next suggestion will be looking at the list of suggestions. Hmm. Shenanigans. Thanks so much for seeing me on short notice, Madam Zelda. Mm -hmm. I just, I need some advice. I've, I've been up to the most dreadful shenanigans lately and my soul feels dirty. 
What about shenanigans? Oh, you know, when you just shenan too much and then it's wrong, but you can't stop. The city is so beautiful. Oh, I know. And it's so tempting. There's so much that you can do in the city. And God, I really like your crochet, by the way. You're so talented. (laughs) I'm a wizard. (laughs) I know. It's a, a wizard of the craft world as well as a psychic. (gasps) <gasps> the future yeah. is blue. <gasps> blue? I wish you would understand. I don't know. I, is it you're a little the... girl. Yeah. And you're not good at this. No. I f- no. The wind and the yes. storm. My name Doesn't... is Elder. Yeah, it doesn't make that much sense to me, to, to be honest, and I've paid you £60 for the session. I just, I need something more concrete to believe in. I, I see the future. Yeah. I... My heart is pounding. I'm an old man who lives in this very house. Right. It's... It's a bit tenuous. I'm not, it's not really helping me. Sorry. Uh, 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 oh, I can't sleep either. Okay, well, can I have a blanket? Can I maybe have one of your nice blankets instead and we'll call it quits? Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Hmm. I'm oh. a fairy. All right, thank you. Thank you. That was fantastic. We had a scene between a human being, Julie, and a cyborg, Vu, who is getting the lines from the AI chatbot. Now, let's spice it up and let's have multiple humans interacting with a single uh, cyborg. The next cyborg is Julie. Oh, yes, this is Julie. And before the cyber, the human was Sarah. And I just got mixed up. It's because uh, it is a live show and uh, everything is being streamed now. And sometimes I make mistakes. And when I make mistakes, I keep talking and I can't stop myself. <laughs> and I get really, really nervous. Whoa, whoa, but anyway. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so, whoa. Alex. Breathe in. Breathe out. So we had Sarah as a human improvising with Cyborg Vu, and now the new Cyborg is Julie. Can Julie raise her hand? Yes. Julie is going to be the Cyborg in the scene, and she will encounter human partners for the improv. The suggestion for this improv is... Magic is real. And we are going to transport. Magic is real. Oh, hi, Colette. How are you today? Oh, no, right, right. Oh, something happened again, I guess, last night with your flatmate, isn't it? Did she cook again? Did she make you again those sandwiches that were like really cheesy and like, <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, tonight I can cook something for you if you want to. And I can come around. Magic mystifies me. I know, right? It mystifies myself as well. But also, magic is everywhere. Do you consider yourself uh, somehow magic? So much to wash. (laughs) I know. Okay, fine. You don't want to talk about it. Fine. I know that after we went to the psychic last time, we 
we found out a lot about ourselves and our relationship and I, I'm aware you don't want to really talk about it. Yeah, I have a lot to watch too. I can't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> right, so you can... Hiya. Hi, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Here, here for the t-shirts. No, 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 not for the t-shirts. Ah, here he is. Ah. Oh, <laughs> hello, Teddy. Oh, yeah. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My little one just goes mad if he doesn't have this, but he spilled, well, he actually got sick all over it, so. So cute. You think I'm a witch? No. Um, wait, what do you mean by witch? Yeah. <sighs> What, what kind exactly? Oh. Your mother's going to be so proud of you. Hi, Rory. Yeah, Rory, you can, yeah, you can take the word, yeah. What's going on? You can't be serious. <laughs> he comes here, he, he wants to talk and he, then, then he doesn't. He just mimes. It's fine. It's magic, magic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's all about magic. Is my shirt ready? Oh, uh, I would like to insult you. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, forget it, forget it. I'll come back later. Oh, it's a long story. I think you're missing the point. Okay, I'll sit. I'll wait. I can wait and I'll pick it up when it's done. <laughs> it's my underwear. Why it has flowers on it now? It smells, <laughs> smells like those need another cleaning. Holy dude. <laughs> not around. Oh. Bobby, wait a minute. My bra had flowers and now it's white. What's going on? Uh, I need to talk to you. The heck? What? What happened? I don't have my underwear. <gasps> Ooh, uh, okay. Um. Interesting. Hello, Fru Fru. Hello. Yeah. I don't like water. I'm getting out of here. Animals are allowed in here. This is a disgusting place. I'm out of here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. Mm. We, we are welcoming with everyone and every hu human and not human being, aren't we? That's a two. <laughs> I don't mind the cat personally. I'm a cat lover. Uh, that's actually why I got my shirt cleaned. It had cat hair all over it. I cannot believe that though. I've not worn underwear since we were kids. <laughs> 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 it's fine. It's a sign of freedom. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't worn. Yeah, exactly. I haven't worn pants for a week now. It feels so good. Almost magic. <laughs> You're not the only one. <laughs> I'm glad I moved to a small village. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Da -da -doo -doo -doo. Ooh, some uh, in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, have you? Oh, yeah. I mean, so can you just tell me more about this uh, secret about why my underwear changed color? Did you did you change any setting in the shop? <laughs> this is very nice, and you're also. seen how you have performed together as humans with one cyborg, Julie, who was taking every single line from the artificial intelligence. But now, let's try something different. With all that social isolation, I have noticed that dating has become difficult for you. So I've just downloaded several thousands of romantic films, and I think I have figured out the secret of dating. It is a sin, and I like it. So now, one of you, whose name is Holly, is going to go on a date as a cyborg. And 
said, I will help Holly. I will be like Cyrano de Bergerac. I will tell her what to say using the artificial intelligence. Every other date will be human or not. Fear not, Holly. You can trust me. We are going to transport you now into a restaurant for your very first date. I got you a watch. I, I thought it would be nice to give you a, a gift. Here, I'll put it down there. Uh, oh, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> you know, uh, dinner, let's start there and uh, see where we get to. I thought the watch would be good because we could look at what time it was that we started our relationship and then always know kind of how long it's been. Ah, uh, my gift for you. Ah, perfect. Oh, wow. Thank you. Water. <laughs> perfect. My birthday present. <laughs> ah, bye. In a restaurant. I can't do this. Our relationship? No. The eating thing. You, me, no. Our relationship ended. Already? Thank God. See ya. You must be... Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. I, I was hoping to just declare my love to you through this apple, but I'm not sure. Oh, um, would you accept a gift from, from me? I really like you and I think... Um, I would not do that. Oh, okay. Well, would you accept my gift in the form of a sun cream? This is my love. It's spray and it saves you from damaging your skin. Uh, I cannot eat with you. Uh, can you accept my love in the form? I'll see you tomorrow morning. Ready? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Truth I is, I like that. <laughs> I've been out for dinner since 1993. No. I'll take you to the movie. I cannot sleep with you. Well, I, I wasn't asking for that on a first date, but, but now you've mentioned it. <laughs> you should not have come with me. I bought you a gift, babe. It's me. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you that your eyes I like deep pools that take me back to the... Well, I'm good at this game. Ah, yes I am. If only I could show you. I told you, I do not want to hurt you. Oh, but I want you to hurt me. Oh my God, I've been waiting for you. What do you think of my gender flipping trick? Mm. Pretty cool, huh? I bought it. You can't buy this magic. You are my dream? Oh, wow. Ah. Hello. Wow. Oh, God, I do not believe it. I know. It's me. It's Dennis. We went to school together. If you're in a hurry, I will cook you a birthday cake. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> this is the best date ever. I do not want to meet you again. Oh, no. Oh. <sighs> Help me. Birthday cake? Oh. 
Happy birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Well, I think that everyone can agree I am a dating master. How did the date go? Holly, you found your perfect match, yourself. This is the sad realizations that all humans have uh, come up to uh, in the recent months. But I shouldn't say that because that's not very funny. It's just a very true. <laughs> anyway, um, I am getting so good at dating that I bet the audience uh, couldn't tell I was a robot. So let's see if I can pass as a human. Oh, somebody here needs some cuddling, some hugs. <laughs> We're fine now. <laughs> Good. So this time, the audience will have to guess who is the cyborg. In, there is a cyborg getting lines from the AI chatbot, but. We will not tell you who it is. No, 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 no. You no, have no. to guess it. No. Just follow the story attentively. We will perform for you what is called in improv language a uh, la ronde. It is a sequence of scenes which are connected. And we are always we are now going to be transported into a new world. The suggestion that the audience has given us is looking at the list of suggestions. Hmm. East Side Kids. Let's go with East Side Kids as a suggestion. That is very transporting. So we don't know who is the cyborg and you have to guess in this sequence of connected scenes. And begin. Improvisation. Eastside Playgrounds off limits. Sorry. Eastside Playground, we're shutting her down. It was uh, due to safety regulations. All the East Side kids had to go to the West Side. Sorry, I know how much you wanted to play today. Aw, Mr. Boys, that's so disappointing. Like, there's nowhere I can do my pitch and putt now. Hey, uh, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Uh, if you if you want to chip a few balls, uh, I mean, feel free to lay them down here in the sand, knock them out. I know how much you like hitting those balls. Uh, Go for distance. See if you can hit that tree back there. Oh, Mr. Boyce, thank you for your encouragement. I I always knew that that you were just the best council worker ever. <laughs> Absolutely, Susan. You know, I believe in you. I think you can make it. You're going to be LPGA superstar one day. Oh, I can only dream, Mr. Boyce. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Oh, well, I don't think it's too far off. I mean, you're already pitching, uh, what, 150, 200 yards, Susan? I mean, that's uh, that's good distance. And don't let those other kids, uh, you know, bug you. I know you come here, you want to play on the playground, and they're like, whoa, 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 get those golf clubs out of here. And you're saying, no, i got to be something someday. I want to be a great golfer. Exactly, Mr. Boyce. They just don't understand the, the ambition that I have. Well, well absolutely. I mean, your mom was a great golfer. She was, God bless her. God bless her. For her memory, Mr. Boyce. I hear ya, I hear yes. And I think it lives on in you. I think her memory really lives on in you. Now, I'm sorry we had to close this down, you know? There were some safety issues here. There was a few too many uh, injuries, the kids on the park here. 
So uh, you might not be able to practice around here for much longer. You're going to have to find another spot to hit those balls. That's going to be tough, Mr. Boyce. I think it's going to be like an hour's bus ride across town, and that costs money. Now listen to me. How is the project going? The project is going pretty good. It's going pretty good. We got, we're, we're getting it moving, uh, getting it grooving. Yeah. It's, so it's the land is not signed over to us, yes? Yeah, I, uh, we're, we're getting the land to you. Look, I, I, I haven't seen any money in my account yet, okay? And now the, the no money, don't you worry. I, I'm just a little worried because you promised it was going to be here two weeks ago, three weeks ago. The boys are on my back. East Side boys not giving me much flack. We got kids that want to go golfing. And meanwhile, there's nothing but construction tires and pylons everywhere. I don't care about any of this nonsense. We are going to build the newest, biggest gallery ever. I'm, yeah. I'm still curating all the art pieces that will go there, yeah? Yeah, I know. I know. I get it. Look, uh, we're just saying we need a little bit of the money, friends. Like, give us some of the cash, Ola, all right? Put your money where your mouth is. It's all talk, talk, talk with you guys. Fine, fine. How much do you need to get started? Uh, I think five grand would go a long way for us to clear up the park and put in that driving range. Five grand? Is that enough? I thought that was about enough for five gallons of milk. Oh, come on. Come on. You're just... You're... You're living on a different place, okay? We're simple people here on the east side, okay? You west siders, you have cash coming out your wazoo. You're wearing rose-colored glasses in this Excuse world. Me. My grandmother was killed by a wazoo. Do not insult her. I will give you 10,000. My checks do not give as little as 5,000. Well, thank you very much. Your generosity is very much appreciated. And then he said, no, I don't want it in my stinker. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 friends, darling, you did say the gallery would be ready for my private opening any minute now. Yeah, my little schnitzel. <laughs> well, then. It just, it looks rather more like a, like a bowling alley than anything else. I'm a little concerned about my artwork really speaking in this space. I have the next gazette. This is the new way to do a gallery. See, every single ball here will have covering from all the artists around the world. Listen, the famous Yvonne does not share gallery space with all the artists around the world. It needs to be my face or no face. Oh, my kind of schmitteling. It can't, I have so much trouble with these builders. They say, oh no, we need more cash now. We need it now. Fine, fine, give them more cash, give them more cash. I'll, I'll, I'll sell another painting. Okay, 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 we make it work, we make it work. I believe in you, darling, I believe in you. Ah, oh, dunk my moustache starter. <laughs> in the meantime, why don't we try this out? I've never done this oh. before. What do we do? What is, is, the, is the meaning of um, questioning the existence of those pins at the end of the lane? Is that what we do? Yes, yes, it's all about existentialism because ultimately you bowl the balls at the pins, but whether you knock them down or not is all dependent really on fate and the psyche. I'm sorry, I can only drive with one hand. I've sustained a terrible, terrible bowling injury, Petunia. You know what, Yvonne? It yes. Does way cooler when you do it with one hand like you're you're just leaning out the back of the car i am pretty cool aren't i i've always secretly thought about that about myself you think i could pick up some chicks hanging out with you yvonne oh absolutely it's bound to happen to be honest i think you could do that anyway <laughs> yes but being with the famous yvonne does give me pulling creds if you know what I mean particularly driving down the road in this beautiful beautiful Chevy I believe it's a Chevy <laughs> indeed it is a Chevy it is a Chevy very very well spotted <laughs> I, uh... yes darling yes 
I just had a question regarding your art. Do you do you think this is your time, Yvonne? What do you mean, Petunia? If any time, any time is my my time. The well, music. You've done very well. You've yes. become famous, Yvonne. Yes. Uh, existentialist art in that bowling alley. Yes. Fantastic, if a little dangerous. But I'm just wondering whether so much of this has been about everything else rather than about yourself. Oh, you know me so well, Petunia. Oh, you're right. All I really want, if I'm honest, is to give it all up and become a plumber. I hate being the little guy in the prison. Yes, but you've got to do what you've got to do, eh, George? You shouldn't have gone and stolen money off that leader from the West Side. I know. I know. That's what they they put me up to it, though. The East Side. Oh. You've never been the clever one in this relationship between brother and sister, but uh, you know what? Maybe this is your chance. I was just speaking to Yvonne and she's been living for everybody else. Perhaps this is your chance to make something of yourself in jail. You're right. I'll make something myself in jail. I'll go to the library and study. Learn yes. physics. Yes, or perhaps just write a book about your experiences as a middle class white person. Turn it into a book and it'll become a Netflix show by the end of this decade. That sounds like exactly what the world needs. You know what? I'm proud of you. <sighs> You're a decent kid, yeah? You are? I am. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. yes. I I'm swear trying. it. I'm trying. I'm trying to better myself here in the prison library. You know, I did not, you know, yeah. I'm not interested in that, yeah? Yeah. I know, I know, I know. You're, you're, you're just here to keep an eye on me and make sure nothing happens. You're right, yeah? Happens. Yeah. Do I'm you remember? Right. I remember what you said. You said, don't you try any funny business or I'll smack you. And so I'm not going to try any funny business. I love Petunia, yeah? You do? You love my sister? Well, that's not going to stand. I'm going to write a strongly worded letter to the warden. You should not be here, yeah? Yeah? That's right. I shouldn't be here. I should be... I love you, kid. Ah, oh, well, that's nice, but... Still doesn't change what you said about my sister. I'm really nice, yeah? Come on, I'm really nice. But you I will seem, find you. You seem okay, actually. Yeah? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh. All right. <laughs> I was stupid. Yeah. I was. Yeah. How dare you? You were pretty stupid. You would think I'm not that clever with what I have as brain, as a dinosaur brain, but you, human, you should have known better. You have an actual mammalian brain with a cortex and you did such stupid things. <sighs> it's been a while now. Yeah? Mm. You're pretty, really. Thank you. That's no, all I, I have to say to apologize. You mean it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I live nearby. Can I, can I also go and live with you? Will you accept me in the house? Nobody. I think you're right. Oh, thanks. 
people normally don't like birds in houses. They think they just go and mess around. What's this, Frank? We have to talk. Yeah. We are talking already. And I'm angry at you. And I'm I just... glad. Really yeah. glad. Yeah. 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 I'll kill you. Frank. <laughs> Frank. Yes. Thanks for taking care of me. Thank you for coming here today. Um, you're doing great and um, I miss you. Yeah. I know you miss me. I miss you too when that, when that other crazy guy was reaching out for my neck. He thought it was Thanksgiving or something. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I just told you all those horrible things and you had to leave and then you to find some somewhere else but actually you can come back now I, I can't live without you sorry first time a human tells me that that they that they can't live with, with a bird you won't mind if i mess your flat hmm? well can you uh, it's a tough question can you mess it up but then try to clean it as well like clean after yourself i will help you i will support you and i know it's natural for you but i, I want you back so i will try to pull up with <laughs> your shit literally but also <laughs> your, your your feathers and everything uh, it's worth it i'm sure okay oh, i know that vegans are always to be trusted And then I pulled his neck again, and then they, they just, I just, and then they put me in this place. And yeah, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, I have to admit that I didn't expect the under 15s golf training facility to be like this, but, but it's really nice to meet you. What have you done wrong with that massive weapon there in your hands? Well, I, I did manage to miss a really easy hole in one. I mean, it was just crazy. And they said the only way to deal with that is, is to punish you. But I thought it was a bit extreme, really. You missed a hole? And then, so where did that go then if you didn't? I'm confused. Oh, the ball, it just went through a window. It's, it's fine. Oh, so you just, you just damaged some public property, is that why you're here? Yeah, but it's quite tough where I live. Mm. Well, here is pretty cool. I mean, it's quite dark and sinister, but um, it's there's not like not many people. There is um, George and then basically no one else. So welcome. You seem <laughs> nice. Like you remind me of my mum. Oh, cheers. Oh, God. I really love her. Yeah, was she nice? Did she have like under eye bags like me? Well, she was often tired. She was always working and, and playing golf, but I'm Susan. Oh, hi. hi, Susan. I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. I, yeah. You're not going to believe it, Mr. Boyce. What is it? What is it? Uh, what, what's up? Well, <laughs> it turns out that <laughs> my new stepmum mm -hmm. is willing to sponsor the renovation of the playground. We can make it amazing for all no. of the inside. No way! What is the current situation? 
Uh, well, friends, it seems like we found ourselves in a bit of a different negotiating situation in this moment. Boss. Yeah, looking around the park, it looks like not a single tire or pylon or broken pipe has been picked up. The check that you gave me bounced higher than a space ball. And I'm starting to think that you've been lying through your teeth this whole time. Aber das ist nicht möglich, verdammte Kugelschreiber. Oh, don't verdunke Kugelschreiber me. I took two years of German in high school. Oh, this is my ex-wife again. She has me, she has me the alimony in my own bank account. Hell, my leg marked. Just, I don't care about the art anymore, Franz. I don't care. But I thought you were going to sell a painting so we could build for this whole renovation. Das ist nicht gut. Nein, das ist nicht gut. Nein. Das ist nicht gut. You know, you said you were painting your soul, but no. you were painting lies. Lies! Lies! Yvonne, it's time for you to grab a pipe and go to common school. You really think I'd be any good? It doesn't matter. You've got all that money from being famous. Now go use it to follow your real dream. This is a fake dream, like a hologram. You want something that's real, tangible, you can hold in your hands like a wrench. Like a blocked you, Bend. That's how I've been all these years, and now I must plunge myself free. Allow yourself to be spun around in the washing machine of destiny. Oh, this is so exciting, Virginia. Yes. I'm very proud of you, famous Yvonne. I'm very proud. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How's it all coming along, George? I gotta get strong if I'm gonna protect myself from the east side, boys. Yes. Let me spot you. Okay. Oh, thanks. You gotta oh. get but you gotta get wise and remember I'm counting on you to make us some money especially now famous of on's not famous anymore okay I hope I didn't miss anything yeah you didn't miss anything I have to take this test yeah well I do not I'd look at me that. Oh, Do sorry. not look at me. Yeah. You're very aggressive today. <sighs> I don't like it. I'm just trying to learn. I'm trying to learn physics. Come closer. Come closer. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh! I don't like the way you're brandishing those scissors. It's scary. That's enough. Okay. It's nothing. Oh. I want to learn. I want to stay in school. No, 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 that's not me. No, that's not me anymore. Calm me down. Try to be nice to me for once. I nearly escaped your knife. I nearly died. I just escaped from your knife. You tried to eat me for Thanksgiving over we are in June. It's not too hard. You will see. I'm not. Okay? You're, you're not no longer trying to eat me, huh? Mr. Burns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. G 
good. So if we share a meal together, it will be the two of us sitting at the same table on the same level. Huh? Good. You're very stubborn, eh? Yeah? Very stubborn. Because I want to live. Vegan. I see you. I see how vegan you are eating an apple now. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. And Sorry? a stack later. So say, say it to me. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea, actually. Like, what's the meaning of life? Is it just eating fruit the whole day? It is being part of a food chain, unfortunately. And I am at, at the bottom of a pyramid. Oh. You are on top of me. Oh, how do you feel about it? Bad. Oh, I'm Weak. sorry. How do you feel about it? About your power over me? Uh, guilty. Hmm. Good. Good to hear that. Vegan. Anyway. I hope you forgive me if you notice that there is a bit of a mess in the living room and on the couch. Again? I've got something that's going to make you proud, Mary. Oh, okay. Come on then. What was that? I won my first trophy. <gasps> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to you to accept me accepting you. Okay. Come up to the same level of my, the, the chain. I'm welcoming you. Come on. Hey. Let, let's do this together. <laughs> okay. Okay. Getting closer. I try to get closer to you now. You can you cuddle know. me. change around here we've been trying to get this sucker cleaned up but uh heard a lot of good news coming from your front it's true and with my winnings i can completely transform it oh susan please jeez you you don't have to do that we got we got all kinds of different ways we might get funding uh, we're trying the best that we can but don't use your money that's your hard-earned cashola but it's for the future of the kids of Eastside. And now I'm so happy. I, I've got a new stepmom. I'm, I'm winning trophies. Like, I've got to pay something back, Mr. Boyce. Oh, okay, please. You could just call me Randy now. Well, okay. okay. It's fine. Uh, I appreciate your generosity. And it's sure going to go a long way. We've had nothing but troubles trying to get this sucker cleaned up. Uh, you think you're going to keep on going uh, all the way to the top of the LPGA? Yeah, I'm going to make mum proud and just think. For the kids here. For the kids, Mr. Boyce. Yes, exactly. The whole thing could be a golf course. Well, we'll clean out this, make a driving range. 
Oh my god! And it's gonna be manicured in the clubhouse. That could be a clubhouse! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> And that's the end of our show. <laughs> so normally we would ask the audience to vote for the identity of a cyborg. But uh, because we cannot see you, uh, we are asking you to take 20 seconds to think carefully about who was the cyborg. And let's all count together. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So now, audience, you know who the cyborg is, right? And let us reveal you the truth. So the cyborg is going to identify themselves. Cyborg. It's me. Yay, it was Marwen. <laughs> so, and that, that, that was our cyborg taking lines from the artificial intelligence. And that's the end of our show. So uh, let's dance together. So tonight we had performing with us Harry, Holly, Chloe, Rue, Sarah, Julie, Marwen, Cory, Piotr, and the virtual director Boyd Branch, who is going to reveal himself. <laughs> Boyd Branch was operating a program that he designed uh, that enables to put everyone on the same screen. And uh, I was operating the puppet. Can you see me now dancing with a puppet? <laughs> That's the gift. It was one of the gifts of improv, one of his suggestions. And everything in improv is a gift. So we are Improbotics. You can find us online at https colon slash slash improbotics.org. That's our website. You can find us on Twitter at Improbotics, on Facebook at Improbotics Limited, Instagram at Improbotics. We are located in four cities around the world. Tonight we had Corey joining us from Montreal, and most of us were uh, coming from London. And uh, what else can I say? I think I'm, I'm talking a lot. I know. Always That's great. You're nailing it. Thank you. Yes. Great. I'm super excited. And of course, we had Alex. Alex, the AI, the chatbot that we have programmed and trained on the dialogue of 100,000 films and on web pages, which was controlling the minds of the improvisers. So, that's all we have to say to you. We're going to be back online on the grid and uh, we wish you a very nice evening. Thank you for watching us. And we are going to disconnect very soon <laughs> in the most awkward way. <laughs> and the streaming. Peace, peace, peace. See you yes. later. Peace out. Take it easy. Bye. 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 Bye.